This video contains an ad for KiwiCo. More about them later. This is our dog, Nori. And this is his best friend, Molly, the sweetest Staffordshire Bull Terrier we've ever met. There's only one tiny problem. Every time they play, Molly absolutely kicks his ass. Again, and again, and again. This doesn't seem to be a problem for Nori, because he just gets back up and keeps playing, but it's getting quite embarrassing. I mean, he's an Icelandic sheepdog, a breed from the Viking age. Yeah, this doesn't look much like a Viking to me. So today, we're gonna protect Nori's honor and make him an armor. Think how cute it's gonna be! I can wear my armor, he can wear his armor, and then we can go and be badasses together. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be so nice. I already made a sketch that looks like this, and I was thinking to make it out of leather, but try to make the leather look like metal, because then it would match my own armor. <laughs> When I make armor like this, I like to make paper templates to make sure it looks good first. And I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be able to put a paper template on him because he loves to shred paper. And also we have to take measurements and uh, yeah, I don't know if he's gonna cooperate. <laughs> Are you gonna cooperate? I take that as a no. First challenge is trying to get some measurements from him. He's very tired, so he's just kind of like in the corner. <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> the cracking sound. Bra. I think I have what I need because I can use his collar and his like harness. So thank you for your help. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit of a hassle, but at least now I have all the measurements that I need to make our paper template. And once the paper template is done, we just have to do a quick little test fit on Nori to see that everything fits. And then we can turn that into our leather armor. Paper template is done. So here we have the helmet. Doesn't really look like a helmet just yet, but it will. One of these little leg pieces. We're gonna have four of those because four legs. And finally, the main armor. And I basically used his harness as the like main help with this. It's got almost the same shape. The main difference is just it extends along his back. So I think it should fit, but... We have to check. Let's begin with something simple. The helmet, or arguably the hardest. <laughs> he knows something's up, he's like, nope. Okay. <laughs> It fits. It fits. <laughs> now the main, the main piece. And the problem is he has to stick his head through here. We'll see. <laughs> oh, bra! Bra! So flea! Dead! No, 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 no. Please, please. I have to see if it fits under. Okay, we have to extend this a couple of centimeters and maybe make the color a little bit more. It's so nice. <laughs> Okay, no, please, please. A little wider collar and a little longer under. Okay, let me just take take off the tape. There we go. Went better than expected. He didn't eat the paper. You do it, me. You do it, me. I've just done some quick adjustments to the pattern, so everything should now fit. And also I've made some holes for the rivets because it's gonna make my life much easier later. So that means it's leather time. <sighs> we got some between three and four millimeter thick leather. Very chunky for maximum protection. Now we can pick all the paper pieces apart, transfer it to the leather and cut out all the pieces.
I just finished up the carvings and I used an edge beveler around the edges here to make them rounded. So now all we have to do is to use a burnishing tool to burnish all the edges to make them nice and smooth. And just stop telling me what this looks like, you weirdo. It's a burnishing tool. Ugh. You know, it does kind of look like an armadillo. <laughs> but yeah, that's the main body done. I'm just gonna put it somewhere where it can lay like this so it kind of dries into this shape. And what's left is to make the chest part that is going under here, as well as the legs and the helmet. So I'm basically just gonna repeat all the steps we just did one more time. I just finished putting together the helmet and just look how cute it is. We have to do a test fit now. So we basically have three main pieces, the helmet, all the little leg pieces and the main armor, the armadillo. <laughs> At this point, I'm just hoping this will fit and that I don't have to make any adjustments, but we have to test it first and see if we have to. Are you ready? Okay, let's test the helmet. First of all, he's very skeptical. Like, <laughs> bra, so flinked the straps are way too long. <laughs> He's being so good. <laughs> He's not eating the armor. These might be a little too tight. Okay. And now, main piece. <gasps> this is the tricky one to try to get his head through. Ja <laughs> Nori! It fits so well. That looks nice. This also looks nice. Let's take it off then. Success! <laughs> we managed to do the test fit without him eating the armor. I'm starting to believe he will be able to wear it now. <laughs> How about that? Just some uh, minor adjustments to do, and then we can stain and paint. I'll do a really flick. Minor adjustments are out of the way, so now everything fits. And I've also just picked apart all the armor pieces so we can actually, you know, stain them. Now finally begins the most fun part of this project, at least in my opinion, because I love shiny things, which is making all of this look like metal. It's just a very simple process, really. A four-step process. So step one, apply some stain, some black leather stain. Step two, make it super glossy. So we're gonna use a clear coat for that. Step three, apply some all clad in chrome to make that nice silver color but since this is kind of fragile we also need step four which is applying some clear coat on top to protect everything a very simple four-step process to get metal on anything so let's start the process in three two one Okay, so it actually ended up being a five-step process because I added this two-component clear coat on top just to give it that extra shine and also make it much more durable, like super durable, because these are dogs. So now we can take all of these parts, rivet it together, and we'll have the complete armor.
But now, before we move on, it's time for an ad for KiwiCo. If you haven't heard about them before, KiwiCo makes these incredible crates containing complete hands-on projects designed to introduce kids and teenagers to concepts in science, technology, engineering, art, and math in a fun and entertaining way. And what I love about them is that each crate contains a full project with all the supplies you need to complete them, including age-appropriate instructions and educational magazines that tells you more about the topic of the crate. I mean, it's just a great resource for learning at home. They deliver so many fun projects. For example, this one, you can create a record racer game, or with this one, you can create a crystal chemistry garden. Kiwico makes for great activities with the family or a great gift option for anyone in your life who's curious and want to learn to create something because they're a full on experience and not just a thing. So if you think this sounds interesting, they have eight different subscription lines catering to different ages and topics, which you can find in the link down below. It supports the channel and also you get 50% off your first month of any Kiwico subscription of your choice. Back to the project. It is finished and just look at this armor. Oh my god. I think this is the best finish we've ever gotten on leather ever when we've tried to make it look like metal. Look how shiny it is. And also at the end here I added this little handle on top so I can like hold him if I have to. As well as this little loop that I can actually connect his lead to. So it's it's a functional armor. And all that remains now is to put it on Nori and oh my god I can't wait to see how he looks with all of this on. So let's just move the table out of the way and go get the little boy. Should we try the armor? Okay. We gotta begin with the big piece. He's a bit scared. He's like mm. he's also very sleepy. He's like <laughs> bra. Yeah, bra. No, he's so flink. Oh, you're doing so well. Oh my god. This fits so well. Oh, you look so nice. <laughs> I can't. Oh my god. You're so handsome. Now the helmet. <laughs> this helmet isn't the most practical. <laughs> I can see now that it tries to lift his head. It's like, <laughs> stabs himself. It looks so nice. And finally, like pieces. <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> it looks so sweet. <laughs> it seems like all the armor pieces fits, except for the helmet was a little bit wonky just because this piece right here kind of got into his eyes. So we're gonna save this one for the glamour shots at the very end. But that means we can finally go back and meet Molly and once and for all reclaim Nori's honor, like the Viking dog he is. So I'm gonna take this. Let's go, Nori. Molly's about to come and I think he's gonna absolutely flip out once he notices. You ready, Nuri? Go get her. You know, I don't think the armor was the most practical thing. I think he's better off just playing with his normal harness, but at least we got a fun project and I think he looks absolutely awesome in his armor. And also, you know, we can walk around being badasses together. And he's off on his own adventure. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank you so much for watching and joining us on this little journey. And also, of course, a huge thank you to our patrons for continuing to support us. And now it's time. Let's have a look at the final result.